Welcome to the tour of the Mindanao Engineering Center at the College of Engineering in Central Mindanao University. The Integrated Engineering Laboratory, IEL, was institutionalized into Mindanao Engineering Center, MINI-C, by virtue of the Board of Regents, BOR, Resolution No. 58, Series of 2020. Mindanao Engineering Center or MINI-C of the College of Engineering aims to streamline the utilization of various laboratory equipment and facilities, not only for instruction purposes, but also for research, extension, and production as part of sustainability mechanism for the newly acquired equipment. Vision and mission, the Mindanao Engineering Center, to be known shortly as MINI-C, is envisioned to become a leader in engineering research, training services, and service laboratory in Mindanao. The mission of MINI-C is to provide quality engineering research, testing, and laboratory services to the community that will respond to development issues, not only in Region 10, but also in Mindanao in general. Objectives and Goals The goal of MINI-C is to provide students, faculty researchers, and other stakeholders with technical and consultancy services. Specifically, it aims to offer professional, analytical, training, and consultancy services to external clients for nominal fees to acquire self-generated funds. Generate additional funds through internal and external grants. Provide technical support and assistance as well as extensive, in-house hands-on training on sophisticated equipment to interested faculty, students, and other stakeholders both within and outside of the university. Undertake collaborative researches with clients and funding agencies, apart from in-house researches. Upgrade skills, software, equipment, and facilities with the latest technologies. Conduct training, seminars, symposia, and lecture series in emerging areas of agricultural, civil, electrical, and mechanical engineering. Disseminate output and learning to interested clients and stakeholders to encourage the application of engineering solutions to the community and streamline utilization of the acquired equipment for maximum efficiency. MINI-C Utilization MINI-C is open to anyone in CMU and from the government, a private or industrial organization for any type of research and development activity that is available in MINI-C and that does not violate policies of the university code. All MINI-C users must abide by the university code and the policies. The conduct of laboratory exercises of students in the college during laboratory classes is free of charge for the use of laboratory tools, instruments, and equipment. However, if their laboratory activities require consumable materials, paper, steel bars, chemicals, fuel, welding rods, and alike, students and faculty members shall provide their own materials. To sustain the operation of MINI-C, a laboratory fee shall be charged to clientels. Clientels is categorized into ENGG for clients coming from the College of Engineering, CMU for other clients in CMU outside ENGG category, a CAD for clients outside CMU and under an academic institution, GOV for clients under the government, and industry for clients that are non-academic and not a government agency. Physical Laboratories First is Material Testing and Geotechnical Laboratory. The Materials Testing and Geotechnical Laboratory is equipped with testing equipment for the determination of soil engineering properties, including index properties, soil compaction characteristics, hydraulic characteristics, compressibility, consolidation rate, and shear strength. It is also equipped with machines that determine and measure the characteristics of materials such as physical and mechanical properties. Second is Hydraulics Lab. Hydraulics Laboratory consists of physical modeling equipment used to conduct a variety of water experiments. These facilities can create visual representations of the flow potential and enable simulations of waves. It enables students to calculate the effects of major and minor losses on pipe systems, water pressure, and flow. Third is Mechanical and Machinist Lab. The Mechanical and Machinist Lab is set up of the different mechanical components and devices to carry out numerous fundamental experiments needed for professional engineering courses. It also includes the setup of equivalent, where machining can be performed. Fourth is Fabrication Lab or Fab Lab. The Fab Lab is a small-scale digital fabrication workshop that is equipped with an array of computer-controlled equipment, with the aim of making almost anything. 
it is a platform for innovation and invention that allows manufacturers and hobbyists to make prototype products such as equipment, machinery, electronic gadgets, and create models, graphics designs, and mass-produced products, among others. The Fab Lab allows MSME to dream up, design, and make almost anything they can imagine using open-source software and DIY equipment. This is Wood & Metal Works Lab. Wood & Metal Work Laboratory houses tools and equipment to provide students with the opportunity to develop fabrication techniques and integrate them with emerging technologies in wood, metal, plastics, and other materials. Sixth is Instrumentation Lab. The Instrumentation Laboratory has equipment that measures and control process variables and systems. It comprises equipment for studying, designing, and applying instrumentation to obtain data. It comprises feedback control systems wherein dynamic modeling of mechanical, electrical, electromechanical, fluid, and thermodynamic system concepts is applied. Seventh is Robotics or Mechatronics Lab. The Robotics or Mechatronics Lab explores research in robotics and intelligent autonomous systems, robotic vision and visual servoing or odometry, machine learning, mechatronics design, industrial automation, systems dynamics and control, mechanism design and system integration, and novel sensing and actuation. Eight is Computer or Simulation Lab. The Computer or Simulation Laboratory is the center for most computing activities. It has computer facilities that enhance the user's digital competency and skills. Ninth is Power Systems Lab. The Power Systems Laboratory comprises analysis and design of electric and integrated energy systems, including their planning, design, and operation.
the tent is surveying GIS and remote sensing lab. This laboratory provides students and researchers the necessary infrastructure for carrying out mapping activities associated with their research projects, as well as the research in the field of geographic information systems GIS. The eleventh is Farm Power Lab. Farm Power Laboratory has various sources of farm power like tractors, stationary engines, and electric motors. The laboratory also has farm implements, tools, and equipment to demonstrate to the students the operations involved in farm production. The twelfth is Post Harvest and Agricultural Processing Lab. Post Harvest and Agricultural Processing Laboratory houses tools and equipment used in the post harvest and processing. It also has basic laboratory equipment and apparatus for laboratory use. It also has working models of agricultural processing equipment to help the students understand better its operation. The thirteenth is Land and Water Engineering Lab. It includes tools and instruments used in soil and water management. It also has analytical instruments used for specific water analyses such as pH, turbidity, temperature, etc. The fourteenth is Basic Electrical Engineering Lab. The laboratory is set up to carry out numerous fundamental experiments in electrical engineering. The experiments are designed to expose students to the practical executions of the fundamental theories of electrical engineering. The 15th is Professional Electrical Engineering Lab, can accommodate 25 students at a time houses laboratory equipment used in professional electrical engineering subjects. The 16th is Physics and Chemistry Laboratory. The Physics and Chemistry Lab is set up for students in establishing the relevance of the theory. It brings clarity to the mind of the students regarding the basic concept of the subject. Students understand the difference between theory and application. Physics and Chemistry Laboratory helps the student in improvising their approach towards the subject.